What's up everybody? Welcome to Bakken Moto. In this episode, we're going to try to debug some of the electrical issues with the bike. The electronics are literally just not turning on. I figured probably the most common problem is going to be a fuse. So I got my trusty tester over here and we're going to test all the fuses on the bike, see if any of them are faulty. And I suspect that we're probably going to find one that is indeed faulty. So let's start with these ones here. I haven't really checked the manual to see what these are for, but uh, I guess just to be on the safe side, we'll check all of them. So, I guess put this here. So, okay, so, alright, first one. And that one's good. These, this one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Alright, all five of these are good. Um, there is another main fuse on the other side. So let's check that. Alright, so we're on the other side. Let me put this guy here. Uh, the main fuse is actually in here. So I have to unplug this main harness plug and unhook the battery. This is my battery from the other bike. So I know this one's charged for sure, and the fuse is right in here. So let's test that. We're expecting a beep out of this. And no beep. So this one is definitely burnt up. So what I'll try to do is, I'll try to find this fuse from the other bike and replace it. And I'm currently charging the other battery for the, uh, from this bike. And hopefully, by switching it, we should be back in business, and I should be able to start the bike. All right, so I took out the old fuse, and as you can see, like it, it was so burnt out, it actually split in half. Now, I don't seem to have uh, another fuse like this. Uh, I tried to take the one from the old bike, or the other bike, off, and that one was split like this in half. There was actually a... A little metal rod bypassing it um, so definitely a botch job on there so I do have a bunch of automotive uh, modern fuses uh, like this one here uh, so this is a 30 amp uh, fuse so what I'll do is I'll take some wire wire it up to the two uh, junctions there then wire it to this guy and then attempt to start the bike this is obviously super temporary but uh, just so we can eliminate this as uh, the problem uh, we're gonna test it that way all right guys so I got the fuse plugged in got the battery plugged in we actually have power so as you can see we got power and I'm going to try to start the bike now. Okay. 
Maybe this turning over. So let me grab some sparks here. Alright. Put some hardware spray in here. Let's see if it'll actually idle properly now. That's good, that's good. idling pretty well. I'm going to wait for it to warm up to see if it will still rev up when it idles by itself. So when it's not warmed up it definitely needs choke. Otherwise it just drops down and stalls. However, when it does work, I can do this. Which is amazing. Alright guys, so the saver is back up and running. Uh, I'm gonna reassemble the airbox and hopefully can get it to idle by itself without uh, too much intervention. Because right now it only idles if I hold the choke on full. Uh, and I believe it's getting still way too much air, not because of the air leaks, but because the entire air box is currently open. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Alright, we got the air boxes on, everything's covered. Let's see what will happen now when we're kind of started. Okay, power's coming on. Kind of running low on fuel, but... Alright guys, so that was it for this episode. We got the engine back up and running. 
there's still a little bit of uh, tweaking that needs to be done so I can actually warm up and idle uh, but uh, I'm happy with the fact that it actually starts and one thing that I did check was uh, the rubber boots uh, when the engine is running if I spray them with carburetor cleaner uh, the, rev, the engine doesn't actually rev up which means that the seals there are actually proper so we've definitely resolved a bunch of the vacuum leaks uh, so yeah I'm looking forward to getting things to run a lot better uh, so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit the little bell to get notifications when new videos become available uh, and make sure to check me out on uh, Instagram at Dokumoto2018 as well as uh, my website where I post articles accompanying each of these videos at docketmodel.com uh, uh, and thanks for watching see you next time